So everybody, it's the Butterfly Craft, Crafter Dana Mankey. So I'm going to show you a few things that I've been working on. And before I get started, these cards that I got are for uh, making a baby book. And it says, tell me a story. And what it is, there are different cards that you can use to, like I say, to make a baby book. And you've got this one. This baby baby and there's just all kinds of different ones and like I'm not going to use these so if anybody would like to have these please write in the comments below and I will gladly send these to you and like I say I, I messed up and ordered the wrong ones I didn't realize what these ones were for so yeah but, you know, if you can use them for a baby book, or you want to make a little uh, baby book for your grandchild, that's what these are for. So I have two sets, so um, comment below and uh, give me your, you know, email me and I'll leave my email down below. Like I say, I have two sets, so whoever wants these can have these. Um, and I will send them to you as soon as I can. And also, I made a gift for my friend. As you know, she moved out of state, and I wanted to send her something for Mother's Day. So I'm going to send her this loaded bag I made. So that's my loaded bag. I made that for her. And I just put some tassels on the side of it. And then I put a, a bookmark. I'm not going to take everything out of here because it was too hard to get back in there. But yeah, I just put a bookmark in there for her. And so, yeah, that's what I do with those flowers I got yesterday. I did that. So that's going to be sent to her sometime this week. And I put some stuff in there for her. So, yeah. So so today's project I share is, um, you know, you get these little notebooks from the, the Dollar Tree, these ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make what they call a chunky notebook. So what you do is you take this part the top part and you tear it off very carefully now you can use this and I'll show you for another project what you can use these for in another video okay and then you turn it around and then you take the back part but leave the yeah the cardboard on there the cardstock and leave it on there so then now you're down to three so what you do, do then is you take and measure out your paper. Don't ask me what the measurement's out. I just traced it out. So what you do is you take it and you fold it over. And, yeah, I don't have my measurements right, but I just wanted to show you what to do. You fold it over. Make sure you get your creases in there. And then you take your adhesive or glue, whatever, and then you stick it to the front, glue it to the front, and you get it as tight as you can. Of course, like I say, I wasn't quite on the measurements, but, you know, it's just to show what, you, what it's going to look like. But then the back, you do the same thing. You just glue it down, and then... You have the front cover, you can decorate it, and then you open it up, and you'll have the cardboard here, and you can decorate it, and you'll have this side, and you can decorate it. Like, you can make these gifts for whoever, and decorate each car, little uh, cardstock little board in there, and each one. And that will be your little project. So that's what they call little chunky notebooks. So yeah, I didn't quite measure out right away, but anyways, I just want to do a quick little little uh, share project. So that's what I did. Now with the leftover paper that you have, that like the ones that don't have the piece of cardboard on the back, the card. You take them and 
<clears throat> take them, you take a little piece of paper, and you'll glue them down to the little cardstock, and you'll have a little notebook, but it'll also be a little folder, like you close it up, and you put the, the band around it. You put a band around it. Well, if I can get mine to go. Oh, there we go. And you slide it down. And then you can just decorate it whatever way you want. This is just mine. I just decorated it to show everybody. So, but yeah, that's what I've been working on that. <sighs> just kind of messing around, just doing different things. And I did start working on my junk journal. This is what I have so far. The paper, this kind of paper I wanted, I can't find it. Um, I, I'm so mad. I want this paper so bad. And then I just took a bunch of lace and put it on the side. And, um, like, basically I just been, I used a uh, cereal box. This is what I made it out of. Just a cereal box. And, like I say, just been putting a lot of different things in there. This paper whatever you know whatever I could find I just been throwing it in there this is just like a little plastic envelope so I can put stuff in there <clears throat> and you know and then I took a pot made a pocket so I put little envelopes in there and there's an envelope here and you know just I don't know just doing different things <clears throat> and there's another, this a little bag I just put on there. So yeah, this paper that I got is really smooth and it works perfect. I've got to find this paper. Um, ah, it makes me so mad. So in order to keep the paper in here, is what you do is you take five sheets of paper and you've got string that you take. You wrap the string around the book 20 times and then two strings for five sheets of paper. So you find the middle of the paper and then that's what you'll do is you'll put the uh, this in there, the string. This is paper I tried to use a tea bag. I tried to uh, do with a tea bag, but I'll have to check on that one. But yeah. And so, like I said, I just been little pages here and there. I throw stuff in there, but this paper, I've got to find it because it worked. It's just got like a, a smooth glaze on it. It just works perfect, so I've got to find it. So, hopefully I can, but yeah, I started working on that, so and that's, you know, that's mine. I'm going to work on it, do whatever I want with it, you know, so, yeah, those are my projects for now, I work on one project, and then I get bored, and then I start another project, and then I get bored, and then I can just keep going back and forth with different projects, so that is mine for right now, um, like I said, I will be on here probably like Wednesday or Thursday, because I did win a giveaway, like I entered seven challenges and it pretty much cleared my paper out, so. So, I got to restock and do everything, and my challenge is still going on. So, like I say, whoever has not made a pocket letter or um, an ATC card or um, a memory decks card or anything you want to make, it is totally up to you. Whatever. If you want to make a, something that's, I can keep, you know, what I, I it's, it doesn't matter. It, it's up to you. Whatever you feel like making. Something that I'll treasure for the rest of my life. All right. So I hope everybody is having a great Mother's Day. Oh, I forgot to show you these too. I made these little tea bag holders. They do stand up. <clears throat> you can fold them up so you can put them in flat mail and send them away. So yeah, they stand up. I don't, I've tried to do the measurements. It's this one girl that did. I, I always watch her channel because I just love the way she does things. So I made a couple of them. 
and I just put some of that eyelash on her. So yeah, I did these little tea bag holders. So like I say, you can put them in flat mail and fold them up, and they do stand up, as you can see. So yeah, I got those. So and happy Mother's Day to all you moms. So alrighty, have a good day. Bye.